tanks danced. It was obscene. It was like an obscene dance. They just didn't roll out. They swiveled around. God knows why they did that. And then the moment came which has intrigued you and fascinated and moved the world. You stand there, you're looking down, this tank's coming out. It's got its uh, gun up. And this man just went out and he said, stop. It's absolutely extraordinary. You could look at him as unusually brave, but he probably wasn't. He was probably just an ordinary person who was so disgusted at what he had seen for the last few days. And he said, right, that's it. I'm going out and I'm going to just stand in front of that column. The blood moon of May 16th is behind us and June 4th is the next focal point that is very strongly connected to what is shown to us in the iPetco 2 animation, our enemy's premier predictive programming tool. The Tiananmen Square protest occurred on June 4th, 1989. But June 4th is also the birthday of the girl depicted with the peace flag in the scene. I suspect Angelina Jolie has been earmarked to intervene in the current conflict and that intervention likely scheduled to happen just before World War III breaks out, when she will say peace and safety, just before great destruction hits the earth. As I was pondering how this animation showed the girl's attempt to broker peace being interrupted by a skeleton or death, the words girl interrupted entered my mind, and I wondered if those words were in any way connected to Angelina Jolie, who would seem to be shown as the girl who will be interrupted, when she says peace and safety on her birthday no less. Lo and behold, there just happens to be a movie with the title Girl Interrupted, and guess who stars in it? Angelina Jolie of course. Not only that, in this poster you will see how Jolie is looking over her shoulder, just as in iPetco 2, when the skeleton grabs her shoulder, and we have the famous one-eyed signature once again on this poster, telling us clearly who is behind the information that is shared with us in this image. Keep watching until the end for more information on this. I would like to share three videos with you today from three different brothers regarding events coming up in June. The first is one that we saw back in 2020, but having the advantage of hindsight, things are making a lot more sense now and has allowed us to interpret what was shown from a 2022 perspective. Notice that this information was given in two parts, and as you may know if you watch the series on the Harvest and Temple models, which I will also link in the description below, two parts remain of God's faith harvest as well as his temple. Please pay careful attention to the calendar months on which the first part of the stream ends and where the second part starts, and also the mention of the fact that the second is accompanied with a man showing up clothed in white linen. Could this be the month in which the bridegroom arrives for the wedding and finding five virgins waiting for him with oil in their lamps, while five others had no oil in their lamps? When all of the information before us is combined, June would seem to stand out and even though it is very difficult for many to continue to endure, I believe the remaining time is fast running out. I hope the following videos and excerpts will bless you. Back in December I woke up, I had a dream, and in that dream I saw a calendar starting January 2020, and it was being flipped. And I saw January, I saw February, I saw March. And when March came up, the hand held it, and I saw the fin a finger underline the month of March, and then tap it three times. So underline the month of March, tapped it three times. So to me, it was emphasis. Something's going to happen in March. And then I saw April, May, June. And when June came, the hand underlined June again, and tapped it three times. Then, in the vision, I saw people marching. I saw protests. I saw people wearing masks. I saw lines going into hospitals. I saw um, typical medical doctors with needles or, 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 or syringes. I saw people on ventilators. I saw people who were very, very sick, very, very ill. I saw newspaper headlines trumpeting thousands of people getting sick. I saw um, ambulances just flying down roads. I, and then I saw, I saw cities on fire. I saw buildings being burned. I saw protesters with masks. Uh, I saw people who were, had their fists in the air, people who were yelling and screaming, angry as at, just at the world. <clears throat> I saw courthouses. I saw state houses surrounded. I saw people who were mad at the world. 
Uh, I saw I saw guns, shotguns specifically put in the air, held like this, and I saw barriers within cities. Um, and I told several men in my church about this, and I can confirm who those men were, and they'll confirm that what I'm telling you is what I told them. I saw absolute chaos. And the other thing I saw was vultures flying over large cities. Not just the ones that were burning, but I saw vultures flying over the cities. And I saw smoke rising. And I saw, I saw people fearful. I saw people terrified. I saw people inside their homes and looking out the windows, the curtains of their windows with guns in their hands because there was absolute fear. Then I heard the words, brace yourself, brace yourself. So since December, I've been hearing those words, brace yourself, brace yourself. Um, January, February came, didn't seem too much. I reminded the men of the dream. And then in March, boom, COVID-19 hit. And things started shutting down. Churches were shut down. Business were shut down. The economy shut down. Uh, then we began to see the protests starting in, Mar in May in Minneapolis. And all those things began to go on. So where we are at the end of the primary election here in Kentucky... And now there's talk of more shutdowns. I just heard the governor uh, talk about schools opening back up and things of that nature. <clears throat> but the things that I saw in a dream of vision back in December are the same things that I watched in the news almost every day since March through June. All this time I kept hearing, brace yourself, brace yourself. Um, I spend time in prayer. I spend time in the Word. I'm a pastor. And it's not just my job, it's something that I enjoy doing, I love doing, and I'm very interested in the news around the world. I read 40 newspapers a day from all around the world. I, I keep up with news uh, in other parts of the, of, of, the, of the nations better sometimes than I hear here because it's hard to know who to trust. But I get news from all over the world, all around the world, from both liberal and conservative sources. Um, I'm very well read, I'm very understanding of how nations work. I've traveled quite a bit, and I'm not just making these things up. I can confirm what I have said. I would like to interject here for just a minute, just to explain what I see in the information that was shared in this part of the dream. With what we know today, the months that were tapped and underlined very likely mark the start and the end of what the Bible calls the beginning of sorrows. Looking back at May of 2020, we know that this was when the world was introduced to changes in the way we lived, and those changes are still affecting us today and getting worse, especially when we look at the economy and the conflict between Russia and NATO, which is about to spill over into the next world war. It would seem that the months that are underlined and tapped are marking new phases, even though the year shown on the calendar may not apply, and we have seen this being the case in so many instances over the past five years. The changes that started back in May of 2020 were meant to do away with the current world order, and it aligns perfectly with what we read in the book of Revelation concerning the white horse that rides with the intent to conquer, having only a bow but no arrows, and this thing also pointing to the strong delusion that we are told about in 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, that would affect all people of the world, even the elect who allowed fear to influence their choices. As I have shown in previous videos, the Red Horse of Revelation would seem to have been on the scene since February 24th of 2022, but it has not received its great sword yet, since peace has definitely not been removed from the earth yet. Most nations are still living in peace, even though living in this world is becoming more and more difficult by the day. Please listen to the next part of this dream, and once again pay close attention to the month in which it starts, possibly pointing us to the month in which the Rider of the Red Horse may receive his great sword when the man clothed in white linen shows up to collect his bride and also to hand over the great sword to the rider of the red horse. And with that in mind, on Monday night I had another dream. And it woke me from my bed. I made notes about it. I shot some video myself just making sure I can remember. But here's what I saw. I saw a calendar. Start with a calendar. And as I was having this, the calendar was up, a white figure appeared. And it, it, to me, it was, it was a rep representing God, the Holy Spirit, something pure, something righteous, something true, something holy, because there was nothing, um, nothing sinister about it, nothing evil. But I heard the voice say, part two, part two. And I saw June go up. I saw July, I saw August, and then I saw September. And I saw the finger underneath the word September, and I, like emphasizing it, and tapped it three times. 
and then I saw October come up, and then I saw November, and this is when it got real to me in the dream. I think the intensity, uh, according to my Fitbit, when I woke up, my heart rate was about 180. So that was Monday night. It was also a night that I woke up not feeling very well at all. I was up during the night, not feeling well. But anyway, the minute the finger underlined November three times, instead of tapping it, I saw a fist ball up and it hit the calendar. And literally, the calendar exploded into the wall. The numbers seemed like they were 3D and they were falling, they were just flying everywhere. And there was a cloud of chaos that started. And then the next thing I saw was I saw... I saw armed protesters. I saw fighting in the streets. I saw people pummeling one another. I saw businesses shuttered and shut up. I saw, I saw schools closed. I saw schoolrooms with cobwebs hanging in them and like things like papers falling off the wall and posters falling like no one had been in them for months. I saw banks, bank buildings with the roofs being taken off. And it looked almost like alien abduction because money was just flying through the roof into some type of like a vacuum cleaner. I know it sounds kind of strange, but I was watching wealth just being taken. I saw politicians in back rooms uh, making deals with people, pat, you know, patting people on the back and, and laughing and smiling and smirking. And I saw monuments. I saw, I saw Washington, D.C. burning. I saw Washington, D.C. blazing. I saw fires everywhere. I saw people being rounded up. I saw Chinese and Russian soldiers on the ground. And Russian soldiers were telling the Chinese soldiers to go and pick up these people, round up these people, secure this quadrant, secure this area. I saw blue helmets of the U.N. I saw military things taking place. I also saw no sign of President Trump. I saw no sign of leadership in Washington, D.C. But the vultures that I had seen were now like gargoyles, and they were 10 feet off the ground, 10 to 15 feet off the ground. And they were just attacking people mercilessly. I saw people hiding in their homes and garages. I saw churches being burned. I saw homes being burned. I saw absolute chaos. And the fist punch on the November of 2020 is what got my attention. And then I heard the words again, brace yourself, brace yourself, brace yourself. That has been something that I have heard for almost almost seven, well, seven months now. Starting once we get to July, it's going to be seven months. Um, and once again, I'm not claiming to be a prophet. I'm not claiming, proclaiming, you know, just, we'll see what happens in November, through November, and see if I'm right about this. But I know when I hear God's voice. I know, I know how, what God's voice sounds like to me. I know when he speaks. And I know when I have a dream that I know is him. And the things that I was seeing, I don't say this to scare people, but I say this to warn people that there are some pretty sinister things coming down the pike. And not just for the lost, but for God's people as well. Just a quick video to show that according to Torah calendar, in 1948, Israel was born. Israel's Independence Day occurred May 14, 1948, which, according to Torah calendar, lands on month three, which is Savan, month three, day four, Savan four. And then two days later is Shavuot, which is Pentecost. Okay, so then jump to the same month in Torah calendar, which is Savan month three in 2022, again, you see Shavuot occurring on the 6th, which corresponds to June 5th and 6th, 2022. So if this is correct, and if Israel's birthday occurred two days before Shavuot, then it would be most appropriate for Israel's birthday to be two days before Shavuot again, which as you can see on the right would land us on the Sabbath, Savan 4, month 3, day 4, which corresponds to June 4th this year. So I just wanted to point that out to you. This image, if you'd like to download it, is in my Google Drive, which is linked below. Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People.
Today is May 15th, 2022, and I'm going to be sharing a piece of information with you that points us clearly to Pentecost on June 4th through June 6th of 2022. I'm revealing this today, May 15th, at 11.15 a.m. before the blood moon, which is later tonight. I want to reveal this before the blood moon so people can understand there are very clear signs that are pointing us beyond the blood moon and at least to this timing of Pentecost. I cannot, I cannot say that this is the exact end on Pentecost, but I can tell you we are definitely going to go at least to Pentecost on June 4th through June 6th. Here is the information I'm going to be sharing with you. Now, as I open this screenshot for you, when I saw that what happened in uh, Tiananmen Square Massacre, which when I was looking up um, the, uh, you know, this day in history and events that took place between June 4th through June 6th in history and when I saw this uh, piece of information that this Tiananmen Square massacre took place on June 4th 1989 and then the uh, this tank man uh, photo which is the most famous you know one of the famous war photos in history and uh, is a clear reference to I pet goat Okay, it's a clear reference to I Pet Goat and the Tank Man, uh, and the or, or the Tank Girl from I Pet Goat. And so what I was going to say is that as soon as I saw that this was June 4th, I absolutely knew in my spirit. I had no idea beforehand. I had no idea. I had never looked this up. I had never made this connection. But I knew in my spirit that Angelina Jolie's birthday was going to be June 4th. I knew in my spirit that this was the connection we have been waiting for when we have, it has already been brought to our attention previous, many people have brought this to our attention, God's roadmap to the end, Jocko, Brother Jocko has brought this to our attention and many others that the girl shown in I Pet Goat is Angelo, Angelina Jolie and it, she's got this tattoo on her back just like this girl has on the back of her jacket and Angelina Jolie just went to Ukraine and this she's on a peacekeeping mission and there's just this whole connection to Angelina Jolie and so I I looked up uh, the this day in history and I started at June 4th I had already looked through June 6th and, you know, we know that June 6th was the liberation of Jerusalem. Between June 5th and June 6th was the liberation of Jerusalem, the Six-Day War. It was D-Day. It was many, many things in history. Uh, and this year, you know, June 6th is, is, is Pentecost. But I hadn't looked up yet uh, June 4th. So I looked up June 4th, and I found that on this day in history, we've got this famous... Uh, photo that was taken in this famous event, this 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 world famous uh, situation that over the course of history has been uh, the Tank Man. Okay, the Tank Man of Tiananmen Square, the massacre that took place on June 4th, and then uh, on June 5th this photo was taken. Okay, so we have this connection to iPetco. We have this connection to Angelina Jolie being this girl. We have the connection to Angelina Jolie and this tattoo on their, her back and this girl's tattoo and this connection to Angelina Jolie. And then how do we connect one to the other with a complete and absolute confirmation? Well, it's the birthday of Angelina Jolie is the, is the confirmation here. I mean, there's no doubt where this is going. I mean, we were watching as she went to Ukraine and what could be happening. Maybe that was the lead up to May 6th and May 7th. And that's what we were looking at. A seven-day warning and this connection to Israel's 74th birthday and quite possibly the end of the fig tree generation the 70 plus the four years 
on the on the Hebrew calendar, IR5 was May 6th and 7th. So we were watching that. But that day came and went, and now we're watching Pentecost. It's a 30-day connection to uh, to May 6th and 7th. And and then I saw this piece of information. So I'm sharing this piece of information, and I'm, I want to share this with you today. Because if I wait till tomorrow, many people will think, well, the blood moon's gone, and so now I'm searching for something else. No, I'm seeing beyond the blood moon, and I'm sharing with this sharing this with you before the blood moon. Okay, so you can see that when we go past today, tomorrow, and, and the following day, the next three, four days, as people are going to be watching between the blood moon and the day of the flood, the 17th day of the second month, okay, we're going to go beyond this. We're going to go at least until Pentecost, June 4th and June 6th. So here's this information. I've got one more piece of information that goes with this. Now, see how all of this is connected? Now, the, the other thing we need to see is, is this, how many years has it been since the Tiananmen Square massacre that took place on June 4th, 1989, how many years from 1989 to 2022? 33 years from June 4th, 1989 to June 4th, 2022. Now, Angelina Jolie went to Ukraine on April 30th. And I'm trying to find, I'm doing a search, I'm trying to find uh, the day she left Ukraine. I don't really find information on the day she left Ukraine. But the only thing I can find is that the last day there's any articles, okay, there's no more articles about her in Ukraine after May 2nd. May 2nd is the last. If you go and you look at you know, Angelina Jolie in Ukraine and the dates that she's in Ukraine, it shows her arriving there on April 30th. But the last article that is written about her is on May 2nd. And I, there's a number of articles that are written on May 2nd. This is one that I picked up from CNN. Angelina Jolie visits residents at boarding school and medical institution in Ukraine. The date of publication is May 2nd. Okay. Now, I don't know if she was still there after May 2nd. But the last revealed date with her visit there is May 2nd. Well, it just so happens that from May 2nd to June 4th, is 33 days okay so 33 days before her birthday June 4th is is the day that it is revealed that Angelina Jolene Jolie was still in Ukraine 33 days from May 2nd to June 4th what well, happens to be 33 years from this event in the Tiananmen Square massacre June 4th 1989 33 years brings us to June 4th, 2022. Okay, so here we have uh, June 4th and June 6th are the days of Pentecost. And I, I think that um, one of the very important pieces of this puzzle, and many can say that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm maybe stretching the truth. But I can tell you, as I am a God-fearing man who would not lie to save my skin or to, 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 to create what is not, okay? I knew in my spirit before looking it up that Angelina Jolie's birthday was going to be June 4th. And here it is, June 4th. Okay, is this a confirmation? Okay, I did not look it up and then find it. I knew before looking it up, this has got to be the connection. This, her, she is the connection. She is the connection to this tank girl. She is the connection to Tiananmen Square massacre in history. She is the connection to Pentecost. And here is a 33 day. Now, 33 is the greatest number of the Illuminati, the number of the Freemasons, the connection to the life of Jesus Christ, 33 years. And this is most likely now the connection to the coming Antichrist on Pentecost. 
and the rapture of the church. And this is what we are looking for and hoping for. As I said at the beginning of this, we we, we can make no guarantees that Pentecost is the, is the absolute end. But I'm sharing with you today that we are going to go at least to Pentecost. So I would say we need to be alert and watching and ready and continually on our toes, on the edges of our seat, and expecting God to move in great ways over the weekend of Pentecost between June 4th and June 6th, 2022. As Brother Steve said in this video, nothing is cast in stone, and we are not claiming to be prophets. We are simply looking at what could possibly be coming down the road, and looking at how events that transpire in the world around us align with God's word. Being watchful allows us to be informed of events before they happen, and not to be caught in the lies of the enemy. For many years we could see how the enemy would use the media to instill fear in the public, and to deceive many into allowing their temples to become the container of the abomination that causes desolation. That is described to us in the book of Revelation, which is also referred to as the Mark in Revelation 13. In the same way, if we are watchful, we can obtain glimpses of the enemy's next move, and better prepare ourselves to meet our bridegroom, which has delayed his return so that the enemy could overplay his hand, allowing the church to fulfill what was said about it in Matthew 16 and to break down the gates of hell, just as explained to us in Psalm 107. And I say also unto thee, that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men! For he satisfieth the longing soul, and filleth the hungry soul with goodness such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron, because they rebelled against the words of God, and condemned the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor, they fell down, and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and break their bands in sunder. O oh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men! For he hath broken the gates of brass, and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Fools, because of their transgression, and because of their iniquities, are afflicted. Their soul abhorreth all manner of meat, and they draw near unto the gates of death. Then they cry unto the Lord in their trouble, and he saveth them out of their distresses. He sent his word, and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Well, I hope this information has blessed you, and that it will excite you as June approaches. Thank you to all those who are supporting this ministry. Your help is so much appreciated, and has allowed us to continue through difficult times. May our Heavenly Father bless you with abundance, not only in this world, but even more so in the world that awaits us. Until we meet in the air, God bless.